Hello guys, today we'll have a short video about validation in Laravel and specifically about validating time. So recently I found the Stack Overflow old post about validating time. And I thought that we typically speak about validating date or date time, but not only times. So for example, if you have a schedule or some kind of timetable and you need to validate that a lecture or some kind of event happens from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. specifically, and the form should be validated for that. So let's take a look how to do that in Laravel, and I will show you two kind of small tips. So this is the form. For example, you create a new lecture. For example, the lecture is math and you need to select start time and end time with just time slots. So 9 a.m. for example, or 11 a.m. is the finish. And in this case, the form will just submit the result. It's not even in the database. It will just show the success message and the request. Otherwise, if I, for example, put in 8.30 here, it will throw validation error, which will show validation messages in the form. So how to implement that? So as I said, I want to show you two things. So the first thing is carbon period. So if you need to populate the array of those time slots, this is one of the ways. So you populate carbon period, which is actually not just the times, but date times of today from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every 30 minutes. But then if you need only times without the full date, then you need to format that with hours and minutes. And then the result, if we go to that view blade for each times, every element of that times array is 08 colon 00, 08 colon 30, and other time slots one by one as time. So if we go to the source of that page in the browser and search for 00, this is the array of values. So this is how you build the array. And then let's go to the validation. We need to actually validate two things, the format of the date and before and after. And this is a form request and this is what I wanted to show you. So date format is one validation rule that accepts, for example, hours and minutes, the same format as we have in the controller here formatting. It's according to PHP date formatting. And then also there's before after, which works not only for dates or date times, but for times as well. So start time should be before end time and end time should be after start time. In fact, it's validating the same thing. So we probably could remove one of them and let's try again. Let's see. Yep. So perhaps only one validation error is enough here. So this is the thing I wanted to show you really quickly that you can validate the date format, not just for date, but for times specifically and also before and after also work for time slots, not only for dates. And by the way, if you want to find out more about carbon period on our Laravel daily com and premium articles and premium tutorials, we have this article carbon period, seven examples of date time lists. It's pretty helpful to have those carbon intervals or list of dates by weekdays like this one. So there are more examples and I will link that article in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.